Hello and welcome back to Fall New Vegas. I think before we get round to exploring the top half of the map, um, I'm probably I'm going to turn in the bounty from last time, and we can actually just continue on with those bounties. I actually kind of like them. I got the Ferguson rifle, which actually does look pretty good. The damage is really, really good. Although it is using the stronger version of ammo, like the stronger variant. I only just realised that you can change. So yeah, if you use the FMG ammo, as you can see there, it, it reduces the damage by about 25%, but I think the gun condition, what all that tells you is that your weapon also degrades 25% slower, which is good. So the yeah, pros and cons to that. I think we're gonna fast travel to Randall and Associates. I don't actually know like, how many new, new weapons it, it adds. And I don't know if the weapons they do add are actually custom made models or if, they, or if they're literally just reskins of existing weapons and gear hey there. but I think we'll keep going regardless have you killed Quigley yet? I'll take that finger here's your reward there's plenty of bounties left so come back when you're ready to put in more work well I don't know how we could tell that that was Wrigley's finger I could have easily just that could have easily been someone else's Oh no, did he have... He, there must be some way of knowing. I've probably missed it as usual. Oh, what am I doing? I've not even spoke to him about my second bounty yet. Hey then, you ready for the next bounty, kid? Yeah. Last week, a caravan was waylaid north of town, but it's still a mystery who was behind the attack. One of the guards survived with a leg injury, but by all, his name is Chesty. And he spends his days at the bar so in we're actually going to have to find this guy do some and try to figure out what happened. We'll try and retrieve some intel first, caps, which is a nice change of pace. Or termination of the attacker, provided we get definitive proof. Five hundred caps is nothing. I mean, yeah, I'm not interested in the caps. I'm interested in the gear. So, where is this chesty? at Border City. Might need to pass some sort of speech test. Uh, speech check, as you say. And we may need... May even need to bribe him. Hmm. Right, that's us. He's probably at the saloon. Yeah, this way. Bighorn Saloon. I don't know how much harder these bounties get. I think the recommended level is about level 10 or so, 15. I'm like level 19, so hey. I should be good enough to take these on. It's weird how everything here counts as stealing except from that star bottle cap, which is arguably worth even more. But oh well, they probably don't know what it is. Uh, no, I'm just, yeah, Chesty's here. What? Can you buy me a drink? Just one drink. Well, there was a You can definitely tell that these are amateurs who are doing the voice acting. And I got covered in Brahmin guts. It's Mike decent regardless. Shot to shit, but he managed to get one of them. 
It wasn't raiders like I'm used to. It was at this intersection. Anyway, there ain't so much weird uniforms. There, but you can look. Maybe fiends. So we cleaned up the bodies, but left that old dude to rot. Or great cans. Uh oh my god. Yeah, so it looks like we do have to go all the way up to Freeside. Yeah, we'll get there on the way. I might head inside the Free Tech broadcast building though, that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. I think we passed by quite a bunch of places, but um, we didn't get to them because I wanted to take care of a bounty first. So we might revisit those areas. I think there's also New Vegas Bounties too I've, I've installed as well. So there's pretty much no shortage of content here. Oh, some ammo boxes. Right, um... Well, it doesn't look too big. It doesn't look like it'll be some sort of sprawling mega dungeon. So I think we could go in. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd taken the commando perk now, or the shotgun sturgeon. Because I think I will be moving away from pistols. They're starting to get a little weak, but I don't know. Yeah, that cult is actually kind of overpowered in my eyes. What was it, like 33 damage per shot? That's, that's about what you'd get from a .44. Revolver. Hey, Actually, what do you need? Underground troopers. I don't know who these guys are. Yeah, these guys look like really heavily kitted out though. They have some pretty nice gear. Yeah, this is a world of pain, probably. Yeah, it's definitely added in by some other mod. To the underground. Actually, yeah, this is this is gonna be quite a large area. I think that's what he made it out to be. Oh, the tech raiders! Yeah, those were the guys I had to run from in one of my previous playthroughs. I tried to take them on off camera and just got my ass whooped. Yeah, so I don't think we'll be going in there. I mean, that kind of content's clearly designed for the end game. What we will do though, yeah, we'll just. We'll actually just head to Freeside. I was hoping that we could explore that place, but. Looks like we won't. It would be kind of cool if, if those trooper guys actually helped you. I mean, I'd go down there if there's a bunch of trooper guys who are willing to go with me and fight. But it looks like they're happy with just standing their ground. A bunch of houses in here. Most of them were boarded up. Yeah, I probably won't be able to take anything from these anyways. So let's have a look at a compass. Um, 
don't know where th that one will take us. Looks like there's an area over here though. Oh, that's Vault 34, I think. Or is it? No, that's... No, it's this place. East Cistern. I have no idea. There's a bunch of friendlies over there. Yeah, I don't know where this compass point is pointing me to. I mean, apparently I haven't discovered this location yet, even though this quite obviously is it. Let's just head inside. It's a pump station of some sort. I wonder what's in here. Oh, steel, so clearly there's someone living here. Um, I don't see anyone here though. Yeah, I'll try the other place. East Cistern. I think it's around here. Yeah, there's no one here. I mean, I can take this stuff just fine. just yeah I don't know what what purpose this place serves oh well I'm trying to check if there's like some sort of underground some sort of trap door which leads you underground but it doesn't seem to be one oh well, I think we'll just carry on I guess Yeah, just head north. Seems to be another place over there. And a trader. Even though we haven't got anything to sell, I just like to see what they have in yep. stock, anyways. Uh. Nope. Chinese pistol. Damage is absolutely dreadful, so we won't be taking that. Yeah, nothing really. So, we'll just keep going. Actually, what's this place? I think can you actually go on that you can actually go on that highway above us. That'd be kinda cool. I think this is where's where this place? I think I recognize it. Yeah, is this a town of sorts? I mean there's there's just like loads of destroyed buildings. This is sort of like Boulder City. Like the ruins. There's not much to see here though. Oh, there's loads of locations here now though. Fisk's Bunker. Hmm. Actually, oh, we're actually getting quite close to the corpse, which is good. We're actually making progress towards the bounty. There's apparently some enemies over there. It's probably fiends, if I were to take a guess. 
Oh no, that could be the bounty that we're looking for. Oh my god, the game just completely lags out whenever I bring up my pit boy. Which is kind of annoying. Mole rat ranch. I don't know if it's just mole rats, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. So, apparently the corpse should be over there somewhere. Let's just have a look at this place first though. Yeah, it's just mole rats. It's a Brahmin. That's for some reason hostile. Is it attacking us though? No. Uh, I don't know why the game's marked it as hostile. It's just sort of wandering around. Oh, it doesn't like my followers though. I'm pretty sure I used the. Yeah, I don't know why I swapped ammo type again for some reason. No, can I actually go inside this place? I have no idea. No, there doesn't seem to be any doors I can go inside. There's loads of places over here. And we have an NPC somewhere here too. Yeah, this this whole area just seems really empty and barren. There's nothing really much going on. New Vegas Medical Clinic. I actually yeah, I remember I remember this place. I think this is where you can get all your implants. So yeah, we might be able to make use of some of those Project Nevada uh, implants. Hey. They're actually kind of over the top. Welcome it's kind of it kind of makes your character look like it, it sort of turns Fallout into some sort of Deus Ex type hybrid. Like these implants, it just doesn't really fit in my opinion, but... I don't know. I have several basic... In I've also got two Yeah, implants were actually included in implants. the base game, I think. The other implant induces a mild... But nowhere near as Which comprehensive... ...as the ones added in by Project Nevada. Yeah, you can only choose like one of these, I think. You really ought to avoid using. Yeah, apparently I'm addicted to stem packs, which isn't good. All right. It's kind of inevitable. Very. Well. Right. Um. I'm not sure. Oh wow, this is this is quite deep. I have no idea what's going on. Voice modulator, modulator. I don't even know what that is. I assume that improves your charisma. Well, should I take it? Is there anything else which would you know sort of take? Take up the slot, which might be better. I have no idea. Install 432. It's not actually that great. I also have another one. I've forgotten what it is though. Um. Okay, I press close. I don't know what you're doing now. Yeah, we'll head back later if we do find some better implants. Because 500 caps for that. Actually, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Yeah, implant. Hyper frequency emitter implant. I don't, I don't even know what that is. That's just mumble jumble to me. 
Oh, sewers. Yeah, I've learned to hate sewers in my past experience of playing this. They're just really dull. I think the corpse should be nearby. Yeah, there it is. It's just an ash pile. I don't know why why there would be like loads of flies and stuff hovering around the ash pile because it's ash, it's not, you know, it's not a pile of blood and guts, there's nothing really there to decompose. It could be me being really ignorant though, but I don't know, it just looks weird. Brotherhood of Steel safe house. I wouldn't I wouldn't really mind doing that. That's all they ever seem to do anyway, is just hoard stuff, so Actually that's quite far away. We'll be able to pass by Rao's shack though. I don't actually think I've been there. Hell, I don't even think I'm, I took Raul as, as a companion the first time we played through it. The first time I took Boone, so I just sort of left Raul at Black, uh, Black Mountain. But Boone was... he's kind of boring. I don't really like him. He's your sort of generic, cool, cold character. I mean, in combat, he's great though. Oh, the mortal shack. Apparently, we can just take all the stuff for free. Wow, there's loads of stuff in here. Oh, this gate's causing quite a bit of trouble. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything useful though. It's just random junk. Oh, there's a pinball machine. Yeah, there's really not much here. Keep out. Hmm. The Kaisar is marked you okay. for and the Legion. No, this obeyed. is just insane. For I mean the rate at which these guys spawn is just ludicrous. My fault this is like my third time in about I don't know, like three parts or something? I remember seeing these guys like so many times. Yeah, sometimes when you get hit, the game doesn't let you, you know, your, the game just completely ignores all your button presses. I guess it's, I think it's to give the impression that you're taking damage, but it just, it just leads to me losing even more health, because I can't do anything. Or it could just be input lag, who knows. Where's my stem packs? Here. Yeah, I'm probably going to take the commando pair next. Or maybe the shotgun one actually. I somehow managed to miss like all my bullets. And we are about dead. Which isn't good. Still one more. I mean, 0.44 ammo is still pretty hard to come by, so I think I should I should have been using my revolver instead.
Yeah, these Legion guys, they... They've just been appearing pretty much every single day. They're not too hard though, and they do have a lot of good loot. Is there anything else here? Not really. I think you can actually head inside, but I don't know if we'll do that. It might take a bit too long. I don't even know if there's an entrance here. Actually there is. Uh, we'll check this place out later. No, actually let's do that now. I think... Oh wait, we can't. Oh no, why did I... I thought that was, I thought that was a corpse. It turned out to be a garden gnome. So let's throw that back away. So yeah, that's actually quite far away. What's this place? Some some random campfire. Yeah, nothing in here. Oh, there's a friendly there. That might be Raoul, actually. Yeah, that's a shack right there. Oh! He has a malnourished Brahmin calf. I don't want to head inside. Just see what it's like. Wow, this is quite cramped. He's, he's cool if I was taking his stuff though. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll take all his stuff. Actually, yeah, let's just do it. I want the last grenade. Oh, it's you. There, there, there's no, there's actually no option to quit the dialogue, which is weird. Yeah, I want that last grenade. Yeah, we went all the way to Raoul's house just to loot his stuff. That's just typical of me. Let's head back out. Yeah, I think when we get to the Lucky 38 and we get our own suite at that casino, we can actually invite our companions to stay there. I mean, it's definitely better than living in a shack like that. That looks like the Brotherhood Bunker. From what I remember, I actually think you can't go inside here. Because you need some sort of key. Oh no, this is a new place entirely. Um, so what's that? Oh, it's a Death Claw. It's a young one. It's, it's not too hard. Hopefully that's not a sign that there will be like proper adult death claws because that would be quite a pain. 
those things are just dangerous no matter what level you are. Train tunnel. Don't think we'll be, we'll be going in there. That sounds pretty tough. So where's the bunker? Should be getting close. Oh, there he is. And boy does that hurt. Oh my god, that energy weapon. Right, I'm gonna rush him and just shotgun him in the face. That seems to work every time. He sort of glitched into the wall. Down? Nope, he's glitched inside. Guess that's sort of lucky for us. Or not, because now we can't loot his corpse. Oh. Oh no, come on! Oh wow. Oh really? Well, this sucks. We can't even loot his corpse. He just just completely glitched out inside this th inside the house. Oh well, great! This is just great. Yeah, I can't even turn in this quest now. Oh, this is such a pain. No. <sighs> I don't even know what to do now. I'll probably have to reload. The thing is with the bloody mess perk, I was hoping that all his bits will go flying and maybe I could have picked one of those up, but no, he, his body remained intact. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to end the part here and just kill him again off camera, hopefully he won't be glitched and yeah, that was quite a fail but I'll see you guys next time, bye.